Yeah. So yeah. like you were saying, <laughs> like did. you got yeah, yeah. a whole lot of versatility. You work with people from like inner city to um like the suburbs and everything. So whoa, well, what's like the favorite your favorite stuff? Like what's the best stuff that you've made in your opinion? Uh my favorite songs would be my songs like for me personally for my own listening pleasure. I like I like the song that for me like be like the most like expressive and like most like me just being like vulnerable on my song. Like the song like when I play song the people be like, Oh yeah, bro, this touch me like this this shit inspired me and motivated me. But like a lot of other people like when I play stuff they like my kinda like more like turned up shit. It just depends on the person for real. You know what I mean? But like I'm saying, I do a lot of different stuff. Like it just really depends on my mood. Cause look, I'm gonna be honest. Like when I make songs, when I record, kind of just freestyle. Like whatever mood I be in. So you know what I'm saying? Like whatever whatever mood I be in, that's what the song gonna be. You know what I'm saying? So like that's the same way I'm in. But like when I have to listen to my music, like whatever like mood I'm in, I just listen to a song that kind of like either get me deep into that mood or away from the mood that I'm in. You know what I'm saying? So like. If I'm in a happy mood, I'm just gonna make a song, you feel me, that reflect like, you know, happy stuff. And, you know, I kinda got like a template for like, you know, music that's gonna put me in a good mood from like, you know, like like I said, the Atlanta stuff that influenced me in my teenage years. Cause uh, most of the music is kinda like upbeat, you know, like major keys and like, you know, very melodic. So like, I try to make something like that. Or like, if I'm in like, uh, when I'm a deep mood, I'm just thinking about life, you feel me, I might listen to like some, some soft music. You know, and trying to, you know, bring that out. You know what I'm saying? But it just depends on how I feel for the day. But like, I ain't gonna lie. My last tape that I put out, that uh, it's called My Messiah. My favorite. I feel like that that's kind of perfect from front to back. And I'm gonna put out the list for it. But that, I, like, no matter what mood I'm in, I could listen to that like just for my listening pleasure. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got nothing to do with the mood. I just like listen to it. You know what I'm saying? That's my favorite day. Do you have like a a date for the deluxe or is it just still in the works? No, it's already out. It's already out. It's a, I'll put it out January 11th. I'm thinking about doing a, putting out a deluxe. You know what I'm saying? I might put out a deluxe like in the next couple weeks, but it just depends if I, if I do the, I got like the initial version of the the tape was like 13 songs, but I cut them down to nine. But if I end up putting these features on the songs, then I do the deluxe. If not, I just I don't know. Because there's really just a part one. And I'm going to do a part two, two, probably like three parts. So I might either deluxe or keep the song for the next part. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Whenever that'll be. I don't know when. Like, to me, my personal favorite one of your songs is Manifesto. So well, what happened? What made you make that song? Cause I was I was at work and I was just listening to that. I was like, wait a minute, yo, <laughs> this one crazy. All right, so that's like a sleeper. I know that song is sleeper, bro. It ain't one. It ain't like a song. You from Texas though, so yeah. Look though, I got family in Texas though. So look, I think I made that beat when I was in Dallas with my cousin. I ain't gonna lie, but I I made that beat last year in Dallas. But I just ended up recording to it, like, uh, probably, like, December. Because I went to Dallas in, like, January for some shows. I ain't, I started recording for this project, like, November, December. But uh, I don't know. I just freestyle, bro. I just freestyle on how I was feeling. You feel me? I think some shit had pissed me off about somebody I knew. So that one was, like, use Pinocchio and Angel Preto. You feel what I'm saying? And then I just started freestyling, like, what's going on in my life at the time. You feel what I'm saying? I said, use Pinocchio and Angel Preto. When you talk, I got the hood saying hello. Strings, I know, but so yeah, it's basically my so look at that point in life, I was just kind of like questioning stuff like, um, like, okay, when I'm gonna take music, my music, and myself. So, manifesto basically, like, uh, now, yeah, it's all coming back now, like, all, all the stuff that went to that song. You know I mean? like, I had really, like, I'm gonna show you something on my phone. Hold on, because I was talking to my homie about this, basically, like, having like a uh, Basically, like, think of ourselves, like, making our own Ten Commandments. So that's the word manifesto comes from. But, yeah, so, like, I wrote out, like, a whole, like, 
like a little like you feel what I'm saying? Uh, like basically like a creed that I wrote for myself and then I just like basically turned it to a song and like a freestyle type there. You know what I'm saying? But it's based off like it just uh kinda like seeing through a lot of people and uh understanding everything that really was the same, then it's just like okay, what do I do with this? Like how do I like go forward with my life and then so I just basically like wrote out these principles for myself. Like, okay, this is the type of person I don't want to be, this type of person I do want to be, and how I'm going to take my life forward. So, like, and I feel like it's a good placement on that table, my Messiah. Like, like it make more sense when you, like, listen to the whole project completely. Like, it's like a full story. But it's, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, at that point, uh, in terms of, like, the actual, like, recording of the song, it was pretty quick. But the thought that went to, like, before all of it, it was, like, you know, like a whole like journey, you know what I'm saying? So it's like an amalgamation of like a bunch of events, like from losing friends to, you know, trying to, you know, losing money, investing into myself, and then trying to figure out ways to make it back, you know, uh, me figuring out stuff about myself that I don't really like, you feel me, that I want to change, you know what I'm saying? From like where I treat women, the way I treat my family, you feel me, where I treat myself, like, you feel me, like, you know, a lot of shit. So, you feel me? That would that would worry like manifesto really mean. Manifesto is just like a, a set of principles that you uh that you that you set set in place just to like okay, this is what we're gonna head to. So yeah. And that was like the changing point in my life, you feel me saying? When I made that, you feel me saying? When I actually like when I wrote the you know, the little uh, the Ten Commandments decree, you feel what I'm saying, that I wrote for myself, that's kinda like once I started like reading it every day, looking in the mirror and repeating it to myself every day, this like, you know, when my habits started changing, my relationship started changing, the things I noticed just started changing. You know what I'm saying? So that's like the effects of the song. But so I just like put all of that into a song, you know what I'm saying? Like, basically, yeah. But it was a freestyle song when like I really like wrote and thought about the song. I just kind of freestyled it. But the events that led up to it is kind of deep, you know what I'm saying? I feel you, cause I I've I've been really big into that like lately too, and like trying to uh, set up like priorities and keep in line with those. So I guess that's why that song really hit me, cause like what you talking about right now, that's what I've really been on and really trying to be preaching to my homies and everything about how you gotta have goals and you gotta wake up with a purpose every day. 